Blessing citizens of the world, we are anonymous. Last week some very grave alarm bells began ringing around the world when the Swedish Civil Contingencies Agency MSB, sent a letter to local authorities across the country telling them to make preparations for war with Russia. Unfortunately though, none of these alarm bells were heard in America because that entire nation has gone totally insane and with insanity being described as madness, folly, foolishness and lunacy, there is no other apt description that covers what is now happening in what used to be the most revered country in the modern world. The first signs of this insanity that has overcome America began on the 16th of June 2015 when the global billionaire real estate developer Donald Trump announced that he was running for the US presidency and that contrary to what you've been allowed to know, was the culmination of a nearly 20 year plan to retake control of the United States and overthrow the globalist elites who had seized this nation away from its citizens for their own gain, motives and profit and as best described this past week by US historian and political leader Newt Gingrich. Do you understand who Trump really is, who the forces behind him are, and how really, really, smart and ingenious he is after all, for this one single person to bring down the Republican Party, Democratic Party, the Bush family dynasty, the Clinton family dynasty, and all others who opposed him, the world is now dealing with one of the most powerful persons ever to set forth on the global stage. It is no coincidence either that the movement Trump is now in full control of is being evidenced throughout the world too and that led to the stunning Brexit vote casting Britain out of the European Union, and too many other shocking events mentioned in just one writing, but as the new year begins will overturn the entire old world order. Painted by his elite globalist enemies as a demagogue, they critically fail to realize that Trump is, instead, a populist who espouses government by the people as a whole, that is to say, the masses that is in sharp contrast to aristocracy, oligarchy, synarchy or plutocracy, each of which is an ideology that espouses government by a small, privileged group above the masses. To how these privileged groups seized power in the first place is through what is now called identity politics and as practiced in America involved the decades long division of this nation's citizens into warring camps divided by social issues, abortion, gun rights slash etc, and race, gender identity, ethnicity, nationality, sexual orientation, disability, religion, culture, language and dialect. This could not have been accomplished, however, unless these privileged groups were backed by an all-powerful and consuming national media propaganda effort led by the six corporations that control 90% of all the media outlets in America, who call themselves the official arbiters of truth and all of whom have now devoted themselves to destroying Trump, at any cost, and by any means. And in just one example of this to note on Friday July 22, 2016 at 10.30 am, Wikileaks released over two publications, 44,053 emails and 17,761 attachments from the top of the US Democratic National Committee, and that was followed in October and November by them further releasing over 20,000 pages of emails from the computer of Hillary Clinton's campaign chairman John Bodster. To how Wikileaks obtained these US Democratic National Committee emails their founder, Julian Assange, stated that they were not given to this whistle-blowing organization by Russia or any other state actor, and former British Ambassador Craig Murray, and current Twikilux senior advisor, further revealing that John Pode's 2s emails were given to Wikilux by an NSA operative as his emails were saved this spy agency due to his contacts with Saudi Arabia. Now one would logically think that this would be the end of this admittedly bizarre episode in the 2016 US presidential election and that it would go down in history alongside the attempt made by Senator Ted Kennedy, in 1983, to get the communist Soviet Union to overthrow President Ronald Reagan in the 1984 election as even President Obama, on the 18th of October, discounted anything interfering in this presidential election and who directly told Trump to stop whining before the game's even over. 
But then Trump won and America's elites and their propaganda mainstream media backers went insane. And not just normal insane, but crazy insane and that began with anonymous CIA sources falsely claiming that Russia was responsible for leaking the DNC and codes to emails to Wikileaks in order to get Trump elected, and that led just hours ago to President Obama vowing to action against Russia. With the US propaganda mainstream media not even bothering to tell the truth to the American people that Wikileaks had already stated that Russia was in no way responsible for these email leaks, they, instead, have used all of their power to spread this lie and that is being followed by a concentrated effort by them to overthrow Trump before he even takes office and includes them saying that the Electoral College must make Hillary Clinton president, the Electoral College must fall on its sword to prevent Trump from being president, and warning that if the Electoral College doesn't delay its vote, Putin will be picking the next US president. The CNN television news network, also, has even gone so far as having one its commentators named Van Jones, who worked in Obama's White House, set up a PR firm to keep Trump from taking office and who produced a video ad of American celebrities urging electors to cause electoral college chaos to keep Trump from becoming president. For those of us who have done nothing more than tell you the truth about what is going on, I am sad to report, we re now being targeted too with Facebook, where 44% American s say they get their news, now actually censoring anyone daring to tell the truth by labeling them as fake news and that involves their readers being able to flag anything they believe as fake news, except for any articles published by the propaganda mainstream media of course. Facebook says that every article flagged as fake news they will filter through fact-checking organizations like Media Matters that is, of course, controlled by George Soros, who gave over $27 million to Hillary Clinton, and admits that its main goal is to destroy all alternative media websites in America. And the reason that all American alternative news sites have to be destroyed is because without them Trump would have never been able to win it s as simple as that folks. No this too, George Soros s Media Matters is unrelenting in their destruction of all American alternative websites too and compile a daily list of these sites. JP Morgan Chase, the largest bank in the US, in response to America having gone insane has, also, issued a warning telling all of its investors to start ignoring the mainstream media and stated, geopolitical developments should be gauged from both traditional and non-traditional data sources, such as big data sentiment indicators, independent media outlets, etc. Given the failure of many traditional data sources to anticipate geopolitical developments this year. As just one example of these traditional data, news. Sources failing to anticipate geopolitical developments was the entire American mainstream media who didn't he know what was going in Turkey but as an independent media outlet we did, and on the 2nd of December 2015 warned that the US was plotting a coup there and that began on the 16th of July. If you remember, it most certainly was not the American the mainstream propaganda media that told you Trump would win it was us and just like I told all of you in my the 22nd of October letter titled Donald Trump landslide victory races World War 3 to finish line, and before anyone objects to my stating that Donald Trump is on the cusp of achieving a landslide victory, let me assure you this is based on fact, not supposition. Now at this very moment here is where you stand and like Newt Gingrich said in the above video you watched all that Trump's victory means is that he has a ticket to the dance, but now he has to start dancing. Likewise, when Gingrich said that Trump could only succeed in destroying these elite globalists if the movement supported him that means you. And that my dear friends is the reason Sweden is now preparing for war, because if these globalists for a second see your support failing, Trump will fall, and then will come World War 3. And to show and prove to these elite globalist monsters that your support is not failing is for you, in turn, to support those of us who've been telling you the truth all along. Today, right now, this crisis is in your very hands to do something positive about and that begins by you giving what you can so that we, and others like us, can survive.